Good morning, Frederick. It is hump day, April 10th. I'm your host, Danny Gurry. Good morning, Frederick is live in the Everything Frederick and More group on Facebook. It's a private group. If you haven't joined, please do. But we're also on YouTube on the Everything Frederick Live channel. Subscribe to this channel. It's very easy to share from there. Sharing is caring, showing your love and supporting the program and the businesses that are featured and liking, leaving comments, and sharing costs nothing but just a second or two of your time. So we really appreciate sharing the stream, leaving your comments, and uh, liking to help spread the goodness that is Good Morning Frederick. I really appreciate it. In the show description, I've put the link to join me live on the program. Do we have anyone that might join me today? I would love it. Maybe you just want to share some news. Maybe you just have some input, comments. Um, hopefully they're nice, but <laughs> just click the link and you can visit in the green room and then I'll bring you on to the show because the show is all about you, Frederick. And I would love for you to join me daily, if you've, even if you want. We have a packed show today. I talk with the Safe and Sane Committee from Frederick High School. You'll meet author Sharon Price and get a chance to win two free seats to her Spirit Expo one day retreat on April 21st. And I chat with Javier from Toa Waters and find out what he's been up to. Wanna thank the sponsor of this program, Frederick Window Tinting, locally owned, serving Frederick with automotive, commercial and residential window tint solutions, frederickwindowtinting.com. Weather today, mainly cloudy with a high of 77. Tomorrow, rain and a high of 70. Friday, p.m. showers, temps dropping to 66. Weekend looking great with mostly sunny skies. On Saturday, high of seven, uh, 67. Get this, Sunday through Wednesday, even though we're looking at partly cloudy skies, our temps are in the 80s. Makes me so happy, actually. Um, if you sp oh, I wanted to uh, let you guys know that it looks like 270 southbound is still closed at Urbana. Uh, there was a tractor trailer fire. Uh, we hope that everyone is okay. It's been closed since about 6:45 this morning. It is still closed. They're rerouting traffic down 355. So if for some reason you're heading down the road uh, to. DC, Montgomery County, uh, you're going to want to avoid 270 southbound. It's closed at, um, it is closed at the Urbana exit. So uh, already you're going to want to pick up the, uh, the 355 area and get your way down there. Uh, if you spot someone doing something good or you know of someone who deserves a little kudos, email us all the details at everythingfredericlive at gmail.com. Or text me some information at 888-465-2944. Also, if you see a post on social, you can tag me personally at Danny Gurry. Um, and uh, I'd love to make sure we highlight those people doing great things. We call this segment The Feel Good File. Raising money is difficult at the best of times, no matter what organization you're with. But try raising money at a high school for just the senior class. Really difficult. Um, Safe and Sanes happen every year on or around graduation at all of our area high schools. It's an overnight drug and alcohol free party to help keep kids safe. It takes about fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars just to keep the ticket price at about $30 to $50 per student. It's tough. I know. I did it for my daughter last year when she was a senior at TJ. But working together is a great thing. I organized a partnership with Frederick High School to do a fundraising bingo, and I'm so happy to hear that TJ and Frederick High are working together again this year. And I chatted with two members of the committee, from the Frederick High School Safe and Sane. 
getting to be graduation season and if you don't have a senior or have never had a senior of a t of a high school in frederick county uh you probably aren't aware of all the things that need to happen uh senior year but i am here with brandy and michelle uh, they are part of the frederick high school safe and sane committee uh, this is the committee that you as a parent should be signing on for the junior year of your uh, student to understand what actually has to happen. But uh, uh, Brandy, why don't you tell everybody what Safe and Sane is and um, how important we think it is to the kids. Okay, so Safe and Sane is a after graduation or for some schools a before graduation event that gives the kid, kids a very safe space to be able to celebrate in a drug and alcohol free um, scenario. And what we do is the parents raise the money for the Safe and Sane 100% from the ground up. And we, we, really need the sponsorships from our community and donations for prizes and things of that nature because the expenses of the um the venues are quite high and we want to keep the expenses down for the students um so this is a night where it can be one of the most dangerous nights for for kids after graduation it's known to be um one of the biggest accident nights for this age group so we do these things to provide them with a really fun, safe space so they can enjoy it, have a lot of fun, win some prizes, and make a lot of memories before they all go off on their own way. Yeah. And Michelle, I know like it's, um, you know, because it is a senior focused event, a lot of times what happens is the previous year's families graduate out and you're kind of left with this project in your lap without yeah. really a lot of uh, advice or handover or hey this worked well that sort of stuff how are you guys coping with that well we did um start kind of from the ground up we were lucky enough that the um treasurer from uh last year has a senior next year so she decided to take on and continue so she's helping us so we have a little bit of wisdom of what people did last year and how it worked and how it didn't work. But we really had to start from scratch. Um, Renee, who was not with us, kind of spearheaded the whole thing and said she yeah. needed help and who could help, um, who could help take it on. So we did. And each person has sort of brought their their expertise to the table. Slowly we get more and more parents joining and um, Brandy's been very great because she's got the expertise of sort of the the websites and the marketing and things like that. So at least we have some organization and now we have a place where we can pass stuff off to the next person because yeah. it's all centrally located. So, um, yeah. yeah, it's just kind of been word of mouth. People yeah. have been hearing what we're doing and they've offered to come and help or use their expertise in it. Yeah, and so just so the greater Frederick area audience understands, and I, I have firsthand knowledge of uh, both of my children graduated from TJ High School in the past few years, and um, TJ and Frederick High in particular, uh, you know, have a lot of mix of socioeconomic crosses, and it's very difficult as a PTA or Safe and Sane Committee or any of that to um, host events that have a very hefty ticket price because a lot of our students can't afford to go and you want to try to be as inclusive as possible to everyone. So that is where the fundraising and the donations really comes into play for an event like this because the ticket price on the event uh, as a whole, is, you know, can be fifteen, twenty thousand dollars um, $20,000 just to get the kids in the door and staying overnight and all that good stuff. So uh, I do know it is a heavy lift and um, I'm so excited to have learned that TJ High School and Frederick High School are joining together again this year for a bingo, which we did last year and it was quite successful. So 
When is your bingo happening and where is it? Our bingo is on April 21st, which is a Sunday, and it's being held at Lewistown Volunteer Fire Department, which is a really large um, fire department a hall. And, yes. and and it's the doors open at 1130 and probably going to close down around five. First game starts at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a really big. We're going to have auction raffle. Um, hopefully we will be doing gift baskets and and some other good things. So please come out if you can. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. You had a really good turnout last year from what you told me, Danny. Yes, yes, it was great. And our, our hall wasn't nearly as big. And I, I think you guys have, I think Lewistown has a capacity for like 300 people. That would be amazing because uh, yeah. with 125, we were able to raise somewhere in the neighborhood of each school got $4,000 each, which was awesome. But um, so uh, how much are tickets? They are $25 in advance and okay. 35 at the door. Nice, nice. Okay. And uh, tell us like where you guys are in the planning of Safe and Sane and your biggest needs at this point. Like if you were to ask the community for one thing right now, what would that be? Michelle? Um, I, was, I would say sponsorships. Um, company sponsorships um would be great because that would help that helps offset the cost because um the cost of us doing the overnight at mm -hmm. urban air it's our ours is going to be at urban air and so mm -hmm. um the cost for that was quite a bit and in order to keep the ticket prices down um yeah we we need as much sponsorships as we as we can and then we also are looking for um raffle prizes and baskets and you know things that can be donated that we can give one to the kids as um door prizes and raffle prizes and then also for the the bingo right. and um yeah so that's sort of where our big, biggest expenses and what we're looking for mm -hmm. i don't know if brandy if you have something to add to that but no it's it is it is sponsorships because we 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 need the money in order to keep the cost down for the kids. Yeah. I mean, we have almost 53% that are really in the lower socioeconomic right. level and just like TJ. So, you know, we want everyone that can attend to be able to attend. And yeah. um, the more we have, the more that we can have the kids attend, the more prizes we can give them and get them excited to actually come and, yeah. and be a part of this. Yeah. And I think, you know, one thing too, um, you know, for local businesses, I don't know, do you guys have uh, sponsorship information on the website as well? But, yes, we do. Yeah. We have, we have levels, we have uh, media coverage. Um, we, we do have a tier for each one and we, nice. we have had some pretty good sponsorships so far, um, but we've got a really long way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's excellent. Look, I do know what uh, a hard road this is to raise money for, especially again, it's a very niche audience in the sense that it's for seniors graduating. And so it's not school wide and, and I get it. And every single senior parent has gone through this uh, at, at, the, at TJ and Frederick High in particular. And um, look, we wish you all the success. We do have your event is on the Everything Frederick calendar um and with the link through so we hope you have a huge turnout and we'll make sure to continue to mention it in upcoming uh episodes but we hope april 21st is a huge success and you guys are able to have all the kids that want to go will be able to attend your safe and sane event thank you thank you danny appreciate it we appreciate the time of course you're happy to do it all right, so we want to thank those ladies from Frederick High, and I see my good friend, Jennifer Sunday. Let's see if we can add her here. Hey, Jen, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So Jennifer is with TJ High School. Yeah. So I know you weren't available for this particular um, meeting that I did with the ladies from Frederick High, but I love that you guys are working together. Tell me how things are going. 
Um, seems to be going pretty good. Um, we've been putting the word out at TJ. We had a meeting last night with our committee and we got down to the nitty gritty of what we need to get done to get this bingo going and get it to be a successful one. Lewistown yes. has always been a very good venue for uh, bingos. Yes. I know that they have another bingo coming up this Sunday and I'm going to drop off flyers at the, at the hall for our yes. bingo so people can then, you know, join our bingo too. Yes. Yeah. The bingo players are, uh, you know, they're a pretty dedicated bunch. And uh, I hope that you guys have a packed house uh, because I know that this is, you know, it's getting down to the wire for both of the schools and it's a lot of money that you guys have to raise. So uh, we'll continue to promote it. We're actually going to be giving away a pair of tickets to the bingo on Friday hopefully to push more people to come. But uh, if there's anything else we can do to help you, just let us know. That's great. I put an ad on the, I mean, a post on everything Frederick last night about baked goods. Okay, we're yes. For so donations for baked goods. If there are any bakers out there who would be willing to donate a dozen or so cookies, cupcakes, or cakes, uh, last year we made, I think, $300 off of the bake table alone. So, uh, that would be wonderful. So yes, if you look for Jennifer Sunday's post on um, on everything Frederick and more, uh, she definitely would love if you guys would donate baked goods for sure. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Jennifer. Have yep. a great day. You too. All, All right. right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, there we go. Our first dial in live guest. I love it. But look, uh, the safe and sane is a tough slog and I really wish them all the best. And I love the fact that the schools are working together uh, because, you know, it just helps. It helps so much. OK, I'm going to attempt here to share my screen. I'm going to look here at the um, let's just see what we got here. Oh, I just shouldn't have done that. All right, here we go. We're going to share our screen. I want to double check the um, traffic. Let's just see what's happening here. Okay, yeah, wow. Um, still closed. Road is still closed, 270 southbound. I'm assuming that's that's been closed since 645 this morning. Uh, I'm assuming that that is going to continue to remain closed for a while to come. I hope to goodness everybody is okay. Uh, I did read on Everything Frederick that there was also a five car pile up. It looked like it included a school bus, but uh, I, I have not heard any more about, uh, I, don't, I haven't heard about any injuries or anything like that. So uh, we're praying that everybody is safe and okay. And um, yeah, uh, avoid 270 southbound at all costs if you can. I uh, also uh, wanted to chat with you about some really cool things happening. Uh, the Humane Society of Carroll County actually has a very cool program. It is called Doggy Day Out Program. Uh, you can go pick up a shelter dog and hang out with them from four to 24 hours you can take them out for the day, craft fairs, wherever dogs are allowed. Uh, you can have the option to let them spend the night, have a little sleepover with one of the shelter dogs. And um, it basically what happens is you're able to give feedback to uh, potential adopters and to the shelter to let them know how the dog behaves outside the shelter walls. I don't know if you've ever been to an animal shelter, but for a lot of animals, it's very traumatic because it's loud. It's not a, a, an air, you know, a space they're used to. And uh, what a great idea for a program. I've reached out to the Humane Society of Carroll County. Love to talk with them. They're actually in Westminster, but you are. Uh, they did post in the Everything Frederick group, so it you don't have to be a resident of Carroll County to do this. So if you want a little doggy love for a day, how great is that to go check out the uh, Doggy Day Out program at the Humane Society of Carroll County. I absolutely just love that. I think that's such a great idea. And um, yeah, I, I, 
I would love, I, I mean, I might just go do it because my dog has so much anxiety that I can't take her out anywhere. So um, I would love to, to see how those doggies do and perhaps sharing those photos and videos on your socials will help to get that dog adopted. And that's what we love. All right, it is prom season. And, uh, and like with graduations too, but uh, everything Frederick and Moore is collecting to help two groups. Uh, any Frederick County high schooler who wants to attend their prom, but don't have the clothes uh, to do it. And also the clients of the Scott Key Center. Uh, those are disabled um, adults and um, they've never had a prom before. So for them, I am actually throwing their first ever prom on June 5th. And if you have any fancy duds that you've been wanting to donate to a good cause, let me know and I will arrange to get them from you. Um, we are gonna make sure that everyone who wants to is able to attend their prom dressed to the nines. Also for the Scott Key Center, I am raising funds to cover the food for the 125 guests. If you can help financially, please go to the scottkeycenter.org and click on the donate button. Also, if you know of anybody with a limousine, a convertible, maybe a classic car, who would be willing to drive around the clients from the Scott Key Center just in the parking lot of Key Stadium, uh, it is June 5th and it's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you know of anybody who can do that, let me know, please. I would love to get that hooked up for them. I really want to make them feel special. Okay, coming up after the break, we've got just a short break, and we want to thank all of our sponsors of Good Morning Frederick. Uh, I introduce you to Sharon Price, and we learn how she's helping people grow and heal in and around Frederick. All in One Events is Frederick's number one source for event rentals and entertainment. Please visit us on the web at www.aioeventgroup.com or call 1-888-727-8902 for more information. Okay, thank you so much to All in One Events. I, I don't think, uh, yeah, the Goddess Group. We want to also thank them, Shannon Flannery and the Goddess Group, of real goddesses of real estate. We love them. Um, and also coming up yesterday, I was at the, we're gonna call it the home of everything Frederick and more, which is located at 401 North Market Street. I was there yesterday. They were installing these awesome tables that'll sit in the windows with some bar stools. And uh, you're gonna meet uh, those guys tomorrow. I'll have that on tomorrow's show. Want to thank Sandra from ANS Construction, a local and award winning woman and minority owned business located right here in Frederick. They specialize in roofing, siding, windows, gutters, patios, and decks pretty much everything you need for the exterior of your home. Call Sandra at 301 703 2157 or email info at ansconstruction.net. Now she's got a special offer for Good Morning Frederick viewers. You get $750 off any roof or siding replacement or $50 off any roof repairs that you schedule through April 30th of this year. Please tell Sandra that Danny sent you. We want to thank ANS Construction for being one of our sponsors. All right, when you're looking around for people doing incredible things in our community, I didn't have to look too far. I call this doing good in the neighborhood. We want to thank Intense Barbecue for sponsoring this segment. Intense Barbecue is family-owned barbecue food truck and catering company cooking in small batches to ensure the food is the freshest it can be. Find them at IntenseBarbecue.com. It's I-N, 
the number 10 se barbecue.com and satisfy your meat tooth and if you've not had their barbecue uh their barbecue parfait is just out of this world i still absolutely love it uh sharon price has helped thousands of people through her counseling books and expos her latest one day retreat is coming up on april 21st and you can win tickets just text spirit to 888-465-2944 that's spirit to 888-465-2944 and here is sharon i'm honored to have author sharon price with us today to talk about the spirit program and an event she has coming up welcome sharon thank you so much for having me it's a pleasure um, I want to talk a little bit about a, a very special program to me. The SPEAR program um, actually started in 2004. Um, I had a health and wellness center here in Maryland on 12 acres, um, and that's where I first started seeing my clients. Um, the program was written between 2004, 2002 and 2004. So 10 books became a national course book called Your Toolbox for Life. Um, and it's a transformational program that changes people from the inside out. It's a mind, body, spirit program. And these were tools that really weren't given to people, you know, when they were growing up or they mimic behaviors that were unhealthy. So it is a coaching wellness program, um, but it changes you and balances you emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So it's very unique. I'm not only a life coach, but I'm a grief and wellness specialist. Um, and I've been doing my work for many years with people. Okay, interesting. So kind of give me, um, as somebody who doesn't have any idea what all of this is, give me kind of the lay of the land. What first, I guess, who is the person that you find um, comes to these programs? I have had people from the ages of 15 to the ages of 88 in this program. It okay. has been one in uh, counseling centers. Uh, as a grief and wellness specialist, I worked uh, at a counseling center in Newmarket for years at a, one of my satellite offices. Um, it was down in Energy Gym in Delaware. Um, it's actually been um, from a wellness center uh, to a counseling center to a fitness center. Um, there's no one and anyone that cannot use these tools. And it's very hard to put into words. That's why we showcase somebody um, every year that we give the the program too, and they give us permission to talk about their life and how it changed them. And it's different for everyone because everyone's perspective on life is different. It changes mm -hmm. your inner perspective because people are so busy trying to change everything outside of them, including the people around them, um, that they neglect themselves. And this teaches them to focus on themselves, focus on their own life, um, and focus on changing the things about themselves that they can change. And then their outside world changes tremendously. Wow. I mean, that's amazing advice. And how you, you've been doing this program for 20 years. I'm sure you've had over that time period, probably thousands of people that have um, gone through the program or that you've helped. What are some I guess, stories that you can share about how this has impacted them. Uh, you brought tears to my eyes as you said it, because I can go back and remember the people that won the program um, and people that have come through. People used to drive an hour, an hour and a half just to come for a half hour session. And I said, you know, you could do this by phone. I was doing virtual work and work even before Zoom when it was done by phone because there was no program like it. So I was doing it in other states. But we had the last winner of the program was a young lady um, who had a daughter. Um, she was a single mom and she started dating someone. And, I, and I'm telling her story because we blogged it for a while. And she made a mis she made an error because I said if a mistake means I knew better. And I, you know, if I knew it was going to cause this consequences, I wouldn't have done it. Um, right. Well, her daughter was shy of 16 years old. And the new gentleman she was dating told her to allow her daughter to drive to the store. And she goes, well, I don't want her to do it, but I, I'm going to go along anyway. So she got in the back seat. They were actually stopped by a police officer. The mother uh, was arrested um, for this. And uh, she lost everything. She lost custody of her daughter. She went to jail and she lost her home and she lost her house. 
this wow. program was being just like this big event that's coming up on Sunday, April 21st, 2024. We were about to do a program. Um, her aunt, who knew knew me from a social network group, um, knew she was getting out. I had no idea. Um, we used to do it where you had to write in and tell why you wanted this program, what it would do for you. Um, but instead, I thought it wasn't really up to me to do that. I'd let the universe, I'd let God choose because it really wasn't my place to. And so she brought her to the event that day. The minute she literally drove her to where we were and she came to the event and she actually won out of all of the people there. And her whole life changed. She yeah. got her a job. She got a home back. She got her daughter back. She got her entire life back. By the time we were done with the 12 week program, she had already accomplished all of that and then was being promoted in her job. Oh and my she goodness. learned about oh, she's still she sharing. Herself. I'm not kidding. It gives me the chills as I talk about it. I'll never forget her um, yeah. because she was so young and impressionable. And, you know, I see this in young people who want to please other people or who want to get along. People want to be loved, but love starts with loving yourself, self-care, self-love, always doing the right thing when no one's looking and teaching yourself that that is how we get ahead, that life isn't always going to stay exactly the way it is. But in order for you to go somewhere and for you to have changes in your life and get to the things you've always wanted and dreamed of, you have to work on yourself. And it really requires that. So um, I've had other yeah. people that told me that, you know, they didn't know that what they were doing now in the program prepared them for the losses they had later, because it takes you through the emotional changes and major losses, whether that's the loss of a loved one or a pet or health or a job. Um, the amazing story is I had two 88 year olds that were couple that actually paid to come through this program when I had it at a fitness club. And it was amazing because we did this whole event again. It brought them in. They paid for it. And I thought, wow, this is going to be interesting. She was very meek and quiet. And the gentleman was always speaking for her. And, you know, she really never spoke up for herself. And he always took the leadership role. He was like it, it was an imbalance. And then it was interesting at the end of the 12 weeks, he was softer. She was more outspoken and she had actually set boundaries for herself. It was amazing to see how their relationships improved and all your relationships improve. So if they're not meant to be in your life because they're not healthy, then they will wither away. But the yeah. healthy ones will come in. It'll make a void. And every void is always filled with something better. That's how I yeah. look at it. So I guess kind of looking back a little bit. So you started in, in counseling. When did you start writing? Was that Did that come first or second? When? It is the strangest story. I, I wrote when I was a child, but never realized the path that I was on was going to lead me here. So um, I the first book I wrote was called Set Yourself Free. It is the last book in the course. Um, I used to be a smoker and it amazes me when I talk about that, being a health and wellness specialist for as long as I have. And I really believe I understand people that struggle with any kind of addictions because of how hard it is to stop just something that other people that have never done it think is simple. And I wrote that book first in 2002. And I then added the other books to it and had them as all singles um, and then put it together as a complete program. It just creatively came to me. I, I thought I wanted to be an accountant. I started in accounting and business and I ended up working for a publishing company for many years. That was my first career. I thought, you know, it, it was so interesting. And and it actually taught me so much that I know now about my marketing, my sales, being an author. Um, yeah. I, I had no clue. So my yeah. life was built. So people can't see sometimes your life is actually building you up for what you have coming in your future. Um, yeah. People think they're stuck and you're not stuck ever. You if, As soon as you make a choice, you get unstuck. Yes. So um, agreed 100% with that. Yes. Yeah. So I'm getting stuck because I want to talk to young people, especially young families. Yeah. I, sure. I meet people that have really struggled in their 40s and 50s and 60s that say, I wish I'd met you sooner. I wish I'd met you years ago. And I said, Well, you weren't open to it yet, or you, it wasn't meant to be. But if you are a young parent and you have children, 
And you can look back at how you were forced to do things as a child that you didn't enjoy um, and you never had a choice. The best thing you can do for your young people, your, your, your babies, is give them choices. And when I say choices, it could be as simple as, okay, Kim, what do you want for dinner? Would you like uh, spaghetti or chicken nuggets? And they make a choice. And when they want to dress for school and it's appropriate, you let them pick out their colors or their choices. And it really empowers them. It really, this is what the program does too. It gives you self-confidence mm. and mm. empowers you in a way that's incredible. One of the books is called Set Yourself Free. And it's all about boundaries. It's all about making choices. So everything from women's health to men's health, um, to stopping addictions, to emotional imbalancing, to how to sleep uh, better, how to you know uh, eat better, how to feel better. It's all part of the 12 week program. Wow. Okay. So typically it's a 12 week program and now you've got this one day event coming up. What, how is that formulated to fit in kind of with this 12 weeks or is it a little bit different and it works together? They actually work together simultaneously. It's a jump start, I call it. And it's, and all the material that I'm using this time is brand new. It's from a new book that I'm putting together. Um, it's, co it re it's called reset your, your, reset your brain and reprogram your mind and okay. that's really how it works your brain is like the processor you know it's an organ it's a computer but your mind can't be seen it's the intelligent part of you it comes from your soul i also say the same thing about the heart the heart of you know, the soul is not what beats in your chest it's where your intuition comes from it's where that you know invisible part the how we connect and and mm -hmm. how we get that gut feeling comes from and you know part of the program teaches that but we're going to be teaching that day how to you know think about yourself differently how to you know get out of negative patterns how to get out of error thinking and how to be able to take that and apply it so everything i do whether it's a free event in the community i do them all the time if anyone sees this segment and wants me to come in and do a presentation i do one called coping with life changes and loss mm -hmm. And it helps people tremendously. If I walk away talking to a group and I never get a client from it, that doesn't matter to me. I feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose. But yeah. um, this yeah, serves sure. a purpose. And awesome. um, this event's also a two for one because we want people to encourage other people to participate. So you get two tickets for $99. You can buy a ticket and bring a friend. Um, it's a hot meal that day. It runs from 10 to 5. Registration's at 9. Um, it's at the Claggett Center. It's the most beautiful setting that you could be in. It's a big retreat center here right outside of the city of Frederick. Um, it's yeah. in Buckingstown, Adamstown. Um, and it is going to be a spectacular day. And you'll collaborate awesome. with other people that are there to learn similar things. And then you have an opportunity to win this package along with every other service I provide. So it yeah. equals about $1,000 worth of services and programs. Amazing. How can people, what's the easiest way for people to get their tickets? For them to remember the easiest is to go to www.getintothespirit.org. And then um, you can also go to, you know, the both websites go to the same place. They land the same place. But if you remember my name, author Sharon Price, it's www.authorsharonprice.com. So either way, you'll get to awesome. it. And yeah, you can click on uh, the Spirit Expo and you'll find out more information. Very good. Well, we will share those websites on the screen when we get this. Uh, and we really appreciate um, what you're doing for people because resetting people sometimes um, is a great thing. It, you know, when you are open to some of those things and you're able to kind of reset your life and change that path, um, we wish all those people and you the best. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's a it's an amazing experience when you're fulfilled by watching people's lives change right in front of you and how proud they are of themselves and how their confidence grows but uh yeah. it's never never too old and never too late i tell people to make a change i love that i love that all right thank you so much thank you for having us today and i appreciate it i look forward to seeing you soon absolutely all right we want to thank sharon price how i i just think that that is fantastic information i think her expo is going to be a wonderful time if you'd like to win tickets to her expo on april 21st just text spirit to 888-465-2944 
Uh, I think it's going to be a spectacular day. And if you're going through something rough, um, she specializes in grief and all of those things. If you've hit a bump in the road, it might be a perfect time just to reset and uh, get on the right path. Okay, happenings in Frederick, boy, let me just tell you, there is a ton of stuff going on right now. Uh, I have updated the calendars, so if you have um, submitted an event, hopefully it is there. I'm going to look at, I don't know if I can look at today or not, but look at all these, especially this weekend. All right, if you want to text your... Um, details of your event to 888-465-2944 or just text the word calendar to that number 888-465-2944 and you'll get a link directly to this calendar here it's going to be perfect for you all year long if you've the kids got a day off of school or summer is coming and you're looking for fun stuff to do and the weather's getting nicer all you got to do is come to this calendar Click on the day and find some great stuff. Okay, today the Dream Exhibition opens at District Arts and it continues through most of the month of April. Tomorrow, the classic movie Field of Dreams is playing at uh, the Weinberg and you can also watch the second episode of Top 5 where Marco and I go over the Top 5 post of the week in the Everything Frederick and More group. This uh, Friday, it is Superheroes Bingo to benefit the American Cancer Society Relay for Life of Frederick County. And Diana the Musical is playing at Way Off Broadway Theater as well. Sometimes you got to click here. Look, we got tons of stuff on the Friday. This weekend on Saturday, it's Swifty Okey. That's happening at, uh, that's happening, where is that? That is at Dream Free Art at 6 p.m. Uh, so that is going to be a cool event. And then Sunday, New Market Cars and Coffee Season Opener, expected to be one of the largest car shows in the area. And then, of course, we've got Super Sunday. If you haven't purchased your tickets yet, I, I think they still have tickets available. That benefits the Frederick Rescue Mission. And of course, you can come see me at Hood College Arena at 3 p.m. The Frederick Flying Cows take on Montreal. Doors open at 2. It's a 3 o'clock game. I would love to see you out there. Get your tickets at GoFlyingCows.com. Also, you want to grab your tickets for Battle of the Bands coming on the 27th of this month. You can get your tickets for that at BOTBFrederick.com. And of course, if you get the calendar, all the links are in here so that you can um, check it all out and get whatever you might need uh, information wise. And if you have to purchase tickets and all that good stuff, you can get it on the calendar. So, oh boy. And if you want, also you can email everythingfredericlive at gmail.com. Okay, we wanna thank Shift, Work and Play. It is Frederick's one and only co-working space designed for those working parents with young children. It's a great way to get some focus on for three hours while your children are in supervised play. And let me just tell you, you guys know, if you can sit down for three hours uninterrupted while your kids are safe and being entertained and entertaining themselves, there is nothing better. Um, my kids were four and two when I started my first company, and boy, do I wish Shift, Work, and Play was around at that time. If you book a three-hour play session, it includes planned activity plus open-ended child-led play. Shift, Work, and Play has meeting rooms, dedicated desks, and private offices, and those private offices actually have 24-hour access. Uh, Shift, Work, and Play is located close to downtown on Northeast Street. You can book a tour today. Check it out for yourself. It is beautiful inside. You will love it. Shiftworkandplay.com. And recently, I just started a new company called Promo Circus. I named it that because starting a business is like being the ringmaster of a three-ring circus. Promo Circus is a marketing consulting company helping businesses make the most of every marketing dollar 
and taking advantage of the many ways to remain top of mind in a very competitive world. I specialize mostly in events and promotions as well as some traditional marketing. This program though, Good Morning Frederick, and the program on Thursday nights, the top five, are just two of the efforts I'm doing to do my part to help raise awareness for local businesses. So if your company needs a little help or you wanna sponsor one of these programs or have your advertisement in it, please let me know. I would love to keep this all going. Small business does keep this town moving and growing and I love it when somebody truly loves what they do. And in uh, today's market maker, we meet somebody who had an idea over the pandemic that has grown into quite a great business. So market makers. We want to thank the Frederick Flying Cows for sponsoring this segment. They're back in Frederick this Sunday at Hood College. Again, taking on Montreal at 3 o'clock. Get your tickets now at GoFlyingCows.com. I did meet uh, this market maker uh, early on in the pandemic, and uh, I'm going to have to pull up his video. He is now going to be featured in a uh, Macy's upcoming store showing, which is awesome. I just think that's amazing. I want to introduce you to Javier from Toa Waters. Happy to have Javier from Toa Waters here today to kind of tell us about the bat bubble bath business, right? And uh, your growth and everything along the way. So Toa Waters, amazing bubble bath and bathing products. And you started just around COVID, right? Yeah. Tell us how that happened. Yes. Yeah, so um, during COVID, um, I realized there was something really missing in the market. And the whole premise behind the company is breaking gender stereotypes in the bathroom. So when COVID hit, um, I was practicing for triathlons and I remember looking online of bubble baths that didn't smell like roses and sliced mm. cucumbers. And I noticed everything out on the market smelled like that. Yeah, so yeah. I wanted something different, something unique. As I mentioned, like I was doing triathlons, I was very active and after training, like I enjoyed taking a bubble bath and yeah. did not want to smell like a bouquet of flowers. Yeah. So during COVID, just like everybody else with having like ample time on their hands, I went ahead and tried to make my own bubble baths. And that's where Toa Waters was created. I paired it with really great ingredients. Mm -hmm. So it has organic coconut milk, aloe, B vitamins. I wanted stuff that hydrates the skin, not dries yes. me out. Yes. And then more importantly, I wanted to have bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> And I wanted it to smell really yeah, good. Yeah. Um, and that's where I came up with all these unique uh, combinations and scents, agave, citrus, cedar wood, different like spices. Yeah. Um, so when I showed it to friends and family, they loved it. So I decided, all oh. right, well, if I like it, I think people of Frederick would like it yeah. and beyond. So yeah. that's where we are. That's amazing. And you know, all of that research and uh, understanding the product and the value and the, and the ingredient list um, has obviously paid off because it's hugely mm -hmm. successful. You're, you continue to grow. What I love about it is it has a very luxurious feel to it. It's very, um, it's thick and, and it just kind of envelops you, right? Yeah. It, it, like you say, it's not that we kind of, you don't have to dump a half a bottle in to get those bubbles that you really like. Uh, the scenting process is so fascinating to me because um, I'm the same. I don't like florals. I don't like uh, f those kind of scents. I like very um, low key or I don't know, they're, they're complicated, but not, yeah. you know, typically feminine scents. And this is what I love about what you guys have done. Things like mandarin and Brazilian rosewood and cedar wood and spruce, like those sorts of scents combined together. Sometimes you don't think, oh, how, what's that going to be like? How is that process? That's the fun part, yeah. <laughs> you know, and I draw a lot of inspiration either from like my past or things that I enjoy. So our best seller um, is Lockwood Forest. This one has sage, oak moss, and lavender, and this one's inspired after the Appalachian Trail. Mm -hmm. I love hiking, I love the outdoors, so I had to create um, a bubble bath that really mimic yeah. what I felt was um, the northern section of the Appalachian Trail. So that's this one. And then the other one that I, I need to point out, which is my personal favorite, is Havana. Uh -huh. So 
My background is Cuban, and um, I wanted to make a bubble bath that honors my heritage. Yeah. So um, this is going to sound odd, but just go with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I um, made a bubble bath that reminded me of growing up at my grandparents' house. Yeah. And it's not like it smells of like old folks or anything, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it has a lot of those rich Cuban spices. Yes. So it has rum, sandalwood, guava. It's just a really beautiful mix. Uh, now, the last time I was here, you had just, you hadn't even bottled this yet. Mm -hmm. You were just messing around with that scent and it is literally my favorite. This is when I said you need room sprays, yes. which I hope are coming soon. But yeah, I think the process of getting that right is so important, right? Because it is, it really is what gives you that experience when you're bathing in a tub with bubbles. You kind of get surrounded by that. And Toa Waters, that comes from your heritage as well, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's named after the Toa River in Cuba, which is considered the mightiest river in Cuba. And that, one, is a nod to my heritage. And then two, it also embodies what the company is about, breaking gender stereotypes. So I wanted something strong and powerful like the Toa River, which yeah. is considered the muddiest river in Cuba. Yeah, I love that. All right, so can you share with us what might be coming over the horizon? Because you've done so many things. Um, you know, you've participated in the Macy's uh, showcase, which is excellent. What, what's coming next uh, in the immediate future? Yeah, so we have a lot of exciting um, things in the horizon. We're definitely listening to our customer base. We've gotten advice from you in particular <laughs> as well. Um, so we are going to be expanding our product line. We're experimenting with, like you mentioned earlier, different room sprays. People mm. love the fragrance and they want to have it in yeah. their um, different rooms other than their bathrooms. Yeah. Um, we're also looking at hand soaps. Um, so yeah. there's the, honestly, the possibilities are endless. They really are. And I love that you've kind of stuck with one thing first yeah. and kind of realized, okay, this is what we need. Yeah. Instead of launching this huge line from the start and trying to do too much, it might not have been as good. But if you haven't ordered yet, toawaters.com they have a really great sampler pack which comes with five cents mm -hmm. and a loofah yep. right in one little container first of all not even just for yourself but if you're looking for a housewarming gift or a shower gift or whatever you need it's perfect you can order right online have it delivered uh, or find you at one of the many fairs festivals or shows that you attend and then when are you at macy's in new jersey so we are helping them out with a, a grand opening with a boutique store um, in New Jersey, and we're going to be there in April. And awesome. all that information is on our website. Yes, so check out the website, toawaters.com, for all the information. But we are so proud that you're part of the Frederick community. I know you're going to put this uh, city on the map with Toa Waters, and we really look forward to the future. Thank you. Okay, so head to toawaters.com and get those sampler packs to keep in your gift closets. You know you have one. I have a whole dresser. That's that one place where you store all the stuff you've purchased for that birthday that you missed or an anniversary you forgot or anything like that. So Toa Water is really proud of Javier. All right, I need your help. We're looking for your recommendations. Fill out the hand-picked survey it's not a voting contest, but I'm going to be posting a list of all the recommendations that you make. I'm going to post the list in May. We will obviously continue to update it as new recommendations come about, but it's going to be a great place for people to go. And when they ask for, hey, do you know of a plumber or where's the best place to get a burger or who has the best steak? So you can either scan those codes if you can freeze on your screen or you can go to those bit.ly links. Make sure you use the right case. They are case sensitive. So the upper E, upper F, and upper C for calendar, um, and uh, or upper H for hand picked. Okay, on to, and oh yeah, the Everything Frederick calendar. I need your events, especially to keep people busy. All right, on tomorrow's show. I know this one ran a little bit longer than normal, so thank you for sticking around. I chat with Tad James from the Met, the Maryland Ensemble Theater, and I'll be giving away a pair of tickets to an upcoming show. Plus, I'm chatting with crazy Karen Wolcott about Relay for Life of Frederick County, and you'll also meet Casey Ryerson. She helps people find the best aged care. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. Until then, search for Everything Frederick Live on TikTok and YouTube, and you can follow me on TikTok at dannygirl1124. 
Have a great day, Frederick, and let's be great out there.